as growth in the European Union lags that in the United States and China, the solution on many lips is innovation. One measure is the Innovation Output Indicator, which the European Commission uses to show the capacity to derive economic benefits from innovation. A century ago, Europe was the world's innovation powerhouse, but it has largely lost its edge. The European Union is behind, and growing more slowly than the US. The EU is ahead of China, but China is catching up fast. Europe continues to have the highest public spending on research and development, but it is private investment that is in relative decline behind China and the US. Private sector investments in R&D account only for 67% of total R&D spending in the EU, compared to 81% in the US and 76% in China. And Europe is falling behind the United States and China in growth sectors and in areas of innovation such as genomics, quantum computing and artificial intelligence. There are big differences in the number of patents applied for from European countries. Sweden, Finland and Germany filed for more than 300 per 1 million inhabitants. Portugal, Italy and Greece were all under 100 patents per million. As were Romania, Latvia and Poland. How can Europe do better? There's a clear correlation with countries spending on innovation. Sweden, Finland and Germany all spend 3% or more of GDP on research and development. But spending was under 2% in many countries with few patents. The EU has been funding research projects through the successful Horizon Europe programme for 2021 to 2027. Funding was increased to 95.5 billion euros. However, low economic growth and new challenges mean that money is tight. In February 2024, the EU cut Horizon Europe's budget by 2.1 billion euros and redirected the funds to defence research and Ukraine. That's the opposite to the direction of travel proposed by Mario Draghi, former head of the European Central Bank. In a prominent report penned for the European Commission, Draghi said that Europe must profoundly refocus on closing the innovation gap with the US and China, especially in advanced technologies. He said the EU as a whole needs to increase productive investment by 750 billion to 800 billion euros each year. That would mean raising investment from 22% of GDP today to 27%. Thank <laughs> you.